First, let's focus on the main components of the product, the display and the sampler. Next, as the first step, we will closely connect these two via the communication cable. Gently insert the white end of the communication cable into the corresponding port on the sampler. And then securely connect the other black end into the communication port on the back of the display. With this, the connection between the display and the sampler is completed. Next, let's discuss how to establish a connection with the battery. On the sampler, you can clearly see the markings for B, P, and V+. Here, B is used to connect to the negative terminal of the battery. P is for connecting the negative terminal of the charger and the load. And V plus corresponds to the positive terminal of the battery. Now, let's start with the specific wiring operations. First, gently unscrew the wiring at the negative terminal of the battery and securely connect it to the P port on the sampler. Since the negative wire of the battery itself is used to connect the negative terminal of the charger and the load, such a connection is reasonable. Next, we prepare a wire to connect the negative terminal of the battery to the B port on the sampler, ensuring the connection is firm and stable. Then, we move on to connecting the positive terminal of the battery. Use the positive wire to closely connect the V-plus port on the sampler to the positive terminal of the battery. With this, the wiring work for the BLF series Coulomb meter is successfully completed. Now, we can gently peel off the film on the display and start charging the battery. Through the display, we can clearly see the charging parameters with the green current and charging characters, indicating that the battery is currently being charged. Next, we conduct a discharge test for the battery. At this moment, you can see the current value displayed in blue, accompanied by a discharge character, clearly indicating that the battery is currently in a discharge state. Thank you for watching, and we hope this video has been helpful to you.